hey guys welcome back once again my name is chitema if you're new here please don't make your last if you're a new subscribers thank you so much for always coming back guys into this video i'm going to be showing you how to go from this to this if this is what you're interested in this video is definitely for you and you need to keep watching i'll be showing you how to color dark notes without staining the lace so keep watching so first off i'll be starting up with protecting the lace to avoid color stain on it so during that i'll be going in with my cut to be yellow gel and my cut to be spray so i'll be using this to to do this process so these are the two products i'll be using so first i'll be going in with the got to be yellow gel i'm going to apply it directly under the lace just as seen in the video after application i'll be spreading it generously on the lace so the glue can get to every part of the lace leaving no parts untouched after which I'll be going in to spray the got to be spray on it. So after this, I'm going to keep it and let it dry. So after the drying process, this is what it looks like. This is what I have. You're going to be having the lace looking this, looking just like this, having it look hard. Then I'll be going into coloring the hair after drying up the lace. This is the hair. I'm just trying to secure it down with my tipping on the canva head next i'll be going into getting mixed plates and the dye i'll be using so for this beach video i'll be making use of the adult dye in 106 mahogany so my client said she wants to have a dark root on this hair yet not too dark so i'm not using like a very dark shade like the black i'm using like a brown so the adult dye in 106 so i already poured little quantity of it in my mixed plate now i'll be applying it on the parts where i want to darken so just keep watching
So this is what it looks like after application. After this process, I'm going to let the adult dye dry up on the hair. After drying up completely, I'll be going into washing out the dye on the hair. So this is what I have after drying up. Now I'll be washing it out with my water to help wash out the got to be spray and the got to be gel we initially applied underneath the leg and also take out the whitish residue the got the the adult dye left on the hair so after washing out the hair thoroughly i'm going to let it dry so you can decide to sun dry or dry with a hand dryer after which i went into styling and guys this is what we have this is how beautiful it is on my client hair I hope you loved this video. Please don't forget to give it a very big thumbs up. Watch my other videos. Share them with your friends. Like you all know, sharing is caring. And I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.